Okay, so we finished our syllabus. Let's take a quick look at calendar. And again, to get out of the preview mode, as we're editing our website, we're going to click the close white X in the top right hand corner. And whatever we've done, we can make sure that we always hit save. Let's click back to our home button or our breadcrumbs. I'm going to scroll down to where it says calendar. And again, this is a flex editor. Inside this flex editor, we've pasted something. Okay, This is actually HTML code. It's hypertext markup language for those geeks in the, in this, in the audience. Um, you click on that, all this gobbledygook comes up, and you really don't have to worry about it. The only thing we really got to focus on is this 695 and this 300. Don't worry about it. This is the kind of stuff that can help you do. We're really just copying and pasting from Google. When it's done, we hit save. Okay, This one actually has two calendars on top of each other. And I'll show you how to do that. It's very simple. It's just copying and pasting one thing on top of another. So how we actually get the HTML code is from Google. So let's take a very quick look at that. I'm going to click on Calendar. And I'm going to go back to showing you where what our calendar actually looks like. Let me close some other windows. I come into Calendar. I'm going to go off into the left hand side of my screen. We have to build the calendars first, so just pretend we're practically done. But I just want to keep in sequence here as far as our slide set. Pretend you've got a period 2 M2 Algebra 2 class or a science class. It doesn't make a difference what course you have. You're going to click on that. You're going to scroll up to where it says Calendar Settings right up here you're clicking on this okay so we've got the right calendar we're looking for the embed calendar section of this we're not going to copy this we're going to click on the customize and it's going to bring it to here now we don't want this format as a default some of you might but i i think the agenda format looks uh a little bit easier to read we're going to change our width to 695 and our height to 300. Why is it 695 and 300? Because I've tested it about 100 times, and those are the numbers that actually look, look pretty good when you start publishing this. We also want to change it to the agenda view so it looks like it's going through kind of like a weekly calendar. Okay? The next part that you're going to notice, these numbers are automatically coming up in this gobbledygook of HTML, hypertext markup language. All we're going to do is we're going to copy this whole thing, and then we're going to go back to our website. In our website, we're going to click on the HTML button, and that's where we start doing these pasting pieces. So if you have a period two, you can put it up at the top, and you have a period three, you put it on the bottom, and if you have another class, you can put it right underneath there. So all you do is you can just continue copying and pasting. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like as far as pasting it in, and it comes in like that, okay? So since I know I don't need three calendars for that, I'm going to hit delete, then I'm going to hit the save button, and then I still have my nice two calendars there. Okay, so that's it for this video, but we'll come back to this after we've got our um, calendars actually built in Google Calendar. And we'll hit save, and that's it. See you in the next one.